Hi, today I'm Dr. Peterson. Today we're going to show you how to actually program the PDP-12 using the machine language to increment the accumulator. Uh, what we showed in a previous video, but here we're going to show the programming and um, show you what the programming looks like. And Dawson's going to key it in for us using the console. If you can hand me the, our camera. Let's look at the language here, such as it is. So we're going to do this increment AC program. And the left-hand side here is the um, address location, so 200, 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, 206. And the right-hand side of the slash here is the instruction. Now, um, for these 7, um, 7300 uh, clear C accumulator, 7001 increments the accumulator by 1. Um, you said, Dawson, the 7000 instructions are operations? Yep, so they op uh from, for the most part, they're operations that deal with uh, comparisons or the accumulator. Um, and then anything starting with a 6 is usually a, like input-output data transfer thing. Okay. And um, what about the like 2000? So the 2000 is going to be an increment instruction that will increment that register that's in it. So 2207 increments register 207. So right here. So. 2207 is going to increment register 207, but when we say register here, we don't mean like a register like in a CPU today where, you know, the CPU has 16 registers or something. What we're actually talking about is incrementing the uh, data in the memory address 207. So you see our program only goes up to 206, um, but we're going to actually increment, we're going to use memory address 207 as sort of a, a temporary uh, register, so to speak. Is that accurate? Yep. Say? Um, and then one other thing about that increment instruction is that it increments and skips if it's zero. So once it overflows back to zero, it'll skip the next line. Right. Um, and since this is 12-bit memory, um, it should be counting up to 4,000, and then it'll wrap back to zero. Is that...? Yep, roughly 4,000. And... Right, 4096, so yeah. to be exact. Um, Okay, so and then so that's that's our increment and skip the next instruction. So how about this instruction here at, at 203? So uh, 5202. So 5000 instructions are jumps. Uh, so 5202 is saying jump to line 202 or register 202. Right, and register 202 is of course this instruction that we just put here to um, increment the address of 207. Yep. So um, what's going to happen here is we're going to increment it, then we're going to go to the jump, we're going to jump back, we're going to increment it, go to the jump, do this loop 4096 times until it wraps around and it's zero, and then instruction 2000 is going to skip the next instruction, which is at 203, which means we're going to skip ahead out of this loop to the next uh, instruction at 204. Yep. And tell us about 204, 205. So 204 and 205 are the exact same thing as 202 and 203. It just adds a little bit longer of a delay between the uh, accumulator in incrementing. Right, because we're we're we so basically we're incrementing two memory addresses as a time loop. So 207 and 210, um, and it's the same thing where we'll jump back to 204, and this 2000 instruction will skip this instruction if um, the uh, if the value is zero. So it would skip this and then it'll go to, to instruction at 206. So what does that do? Uh, 206 is going to jump back to 201, which right. is the increment instruction. Right, so again, 5000 is a jump to this address instruction. And so 5201 says jump back to 201, which is our increment. And so we're going to go through that loop um, for the, you know, as long as the machine runs. So, um, Dawson, why don't you show us how to actually um, punch this in? All right. Well, uh, since we'll be starting at address 200, we want to get that one queued up and ready to go. So, sh tell me, walk me through how this is 200. And what, what do we mean by 200? Well, uh, so, octal 200. So, while we have um, our address here in binary, 12 bits. Um, 12 bits. Um, we can easily translate that to four-digit octal. Um, so I say 200, and it's really 0, 2, 0, 0. Right. Which would just be, you know, your 0, and then 2 in binary, 0, 0. Right. 
So it's a handy way, it's sort of like, uh, today we think people talk in hexadecimal a lot um, as a way of, of writing four bits as one character. Octal is a way of writing three bits as one character. So it's a handy way of, of writing down these instructions because they're there are four octal digits in a 12-bit architecture. Yep. Okay. Um, so at address 200, we want the instruction uh, 7300. So again, looking back at the code, we have address 200, and we want to do instruction 7300. So we've queued up our memory location here, the address, and now we need to store the data. So 7300. Yep. And then we will hit fill okay. and dump that into that uh, address because the memory buffer shows what's inside that address there. Yep. And then we'll queue up our next address, which is going to be 201. Yep. 7001 is the next instruction. Perfect. And 202 will be 2207. accumulator accumulating um, and if we had left out those uh, delay loops it would just accumulate so fast we wouldn't really be able to see what's going on so it doesn't make a very good demo yeah um, cool well uh, Dawson thank you very much for punching it in for us and walking us through uh, how it works um, if you have questions or comments you can um, leave us a note all right, uh, until the next time, thanks.